Hi, this is Nagma from Imagine Crafts, and I'm going to show you a simple technique for creating an antique vintage looking ornament from our sheet metal and stays on solvent inks. We're going to use stays on solvent inks in three colors sunflower yellow, mustard, and saddle brown. And we're also going to use Imagine Crafts sheet metal. The size that you see here is postcard size. And I'm also going to use glaze on layer protectant in original clear. Glazon is a layer protectant which allows you to layer colors of Stazon without the colors muddying and bleeding together. It's very easy to cut your Imagine Crafts sheet metal using a machine like the Spellbinders Grand Caliber. The sandwich you want to use to properly cut your sheet metal, start with your base plate. I have my Lawn Fawn, di Lawn Fawn die here face up, the cutting edge is up. I'm going to take my sheet metal. I've already removed the blue plastic backing. I'm going to place it on the die. Then take your metal shim plate and place that on top. And the last piece is the pink embossing plate. Once you've got your sandwich all ready, just run it right through the machine. Remove your plates and you will see your starch should pop right out. Put this out of my die and I am all set to start coloring. Since the technique is the same, I'm just going to demonstrate it for you on the larger star. And I've also already poked holes in the star where I'm going to put jump rings to make the ornament. And sheet metal, although it's very sturdy, it's soft enough that you can die cut it and use an awl to poke holes very simply. So I recommend doing that first before you color. And then the first thing we're going to do is file our sheet metal to get this kind of distressed, vintagey look. So this is just a regular file you get in a hardware store. I'm just running this over the surface. I've got my craft mat underneath to catch the metal filings. Do a little bit on the side here too. So you can see here I've sanded this away. It looks old and vintage and antique looking. So before I move on to coloring, I'm just going to clean up my craft mat. And I'm also going to wipe off any of those fillings that might have stuck to the actual piece of sheet metal. And now it's time to color. So I'm going to grab an ink blusher. You want to start with your lightest color when your layering stays on colors. So my lightest color is sunflower yellow. Make sure it's dry. and just dab it on, wherever you like. Get a little bit on the side here too. And then I want this to dry before I do anything else. So you can let it air dry, or to speed up the process, just use a heat gun. So now that my yellow is dry, I'm going to add a coat of glaze on. Glaze on is our layer protectant. And what it does is it allows you to layer stays on colors without them bleeding together and getting muddy. You just need a tiny bit of glaze on. Just used a drop. I'm coating it. And it dries almost instantly, which means I can go right on to my next color, which is mustard. Apply it however you'd like. I'm not coating the whole thing, whoops, because it's supposed to look like it faded maybe naturally. And now that I'm done with my mustard, again, I'm going to wait for this to dry or speed it up by heating with a heat gun. So my mustard is dry. Here I am adding 
my second layer of glaze on. And now I'm going to add my final color, which is Saddle Brown. Dab it on here a little tiny bit, here on the side, here and there, wherever I'd like. And there is my weathered looking star. Actually, that's the top. And you can easily repeat this for your little stars to finish your project. To assemble your ornament, just take jump rings and put them through the holes. And then I use just a regular ornament holder here, a little fancy one actually. And you are all set with your vintage antique ornament. A fun thing you can do with your ornament is give it as a gift by attaching it to a card. The card that you see here I made using Graphic 45 paper and a stamp by memory box. I used Brilliance Ink and Sunflower Yellow to color the bottom of the card here. Brilliance has a little bit of shimmer which is a nice compliment to the star image. And I stamped in Mental Lux in Teal Zeal, which matches perfectly with the paper. You just attach your ornament by using an awl to poke a hole in the card and slip a jump ring in there. And it adds a really nice embellishment to a simple card like this one. For more great project and technique ideas, check out Imagine Crafts on Facebook, Pinterest, and at imaginecrafts.com.